Okay, so this is my first flavoured tea review. I first got into flavoured teas a few months ago and I do quite like them. This one that I'm reviewing is PG Tips Zester Lemon and Ginger Herbal Infusion. The bags are pyramid shaped. Uh, yeah. So I've left the tea bag in this cup just so I can show you the uh, the tag on it. So it's like a little it's that uh, that puppet monkey that's on the adverts. And uh, as you can see, the bag is pyramid shaped. So I'm just going to leave this in the cup because I can't be bothered with walking into the kitchen to uh, to dump the tea bag. So as you can see, it's a nice uh, orange colour. It smells really nice. It smells like um, I don't think I can smell the ginger, but I can smell like uh, lemon and uh, herbs. They just basic. The herbs just basically smell like those mixed cooking herbs that you can buy in a container. I think I think maybe I can smell the uh, the ginger a little bit, but uh, yeah, let's give this a taste. Still boiling hot, so I can only take tiny sips. Um, I couldn't really get enough of a big sip then. Let's try again. You can definitely taste the ginger, um, kind of, it kind of has a hot flavour. You can taste the lemon. I'm not really sure if you can taste any herbs or not. But yeah, it's just, I think it's really, really nice. Um, I love the ginger that's in it. I do like things that are ginger flavoured, especially uh, like fiery ginger beer. But yeah, I've tried a, I've tried a few uh, flavoured teas now, not that many, probably about four or five, and uh, this is definitely my favourite one. Um, I'm not sure if I'd totally recommend it because I am a flavoured tea noob so I mean compared to a lot of other flavoured teas out there it might be kind of poor you know a lot of a lot of people who are um, who are more of an expert on flavoured teas you know they might uh, rate this quite low I'm not sure but from my limited experience with uh, flavoured teas I think this is uh, a really nice one I think um, I think it might be a green tea because the flavour isn't that strong. Um, let's see if it says whether it is a green tea or not. See, it's got green tea leaves on it, but maybe like kind of dark tea leaves. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure dark tea leaves are also going to be green, aren't they? Pretty much all leaves on plants are green. Until they, uh, until they die and turn brown. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just looking at the ingredients. It's got apple in it, rose hip, chicory, cinnamon, orange peel, licorice. Hmm, interesting. I don't think I can taste any licorice in it. Lemon peel. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't seem to say whether it's green tea or not, but I'm pretty sure it must be. Really, really nice. I can't remember how much this costs because I got it uh, quite a while back. But um, yeah, this tea cup I actually bought it for for these reviews. I mean, well, I wanted a glass see-through tea cup anyway. I thought it'd just be quite cool for flavored teas, but I thought you know it would be it would look good on um, on video, 
Uh, this particular one I got it from China. Uh, cost about three pounds. Uh, postage was free. Bought it on eBay, and um, it looks so. The, the glass it looks so thin and delicate, like it could break really easily. And um, at first, when I used to pour boiling water into it, uh, I used to be, kind of be worried about it break. I was really paranoid about the glass breaking because it just looks so delicate and everything. But luckily, it's not. You know, it's not broken or anything. I've um, made plenty of. Uh, red hot cups of tea in it and it's not broken um, really when it's empty it's, it's just it's, it's as light as a feather hmm what would I give this out of 10 um, um, I'm not sure whether to give it an 8 or a 9 Um, I think I'll give it an eight and a half out of ten. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.